we get this uh, scientist also to show you who has a plan on how to stop us from eating meat. This is absolutely astounding. Gotta stop with this. I can't. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Huh. So I'll give two examples. So one is that uh, people eat too much meat, right? And if they were to cut Great. down on their consumption of meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. Uh, but people are not willing to give up meat. Yeah, you know, some people will be willing to, but other people, they may be willing to, but they sort of, they have a weakness of will. They say, wow, this, this steak is just too juicy. I can't do it. I, I'm one of those, by the way. So, oh, okay. you know, <laughs> but so, so here's the thought, Don't lie. right? So it turns out that we know a lot about, so there, we have these mm -hmm. intolerance to, uh, so I, for example, I have milk intolerance. I'm, uh, TMI, and there's some TMI, people dude. are intolerant to crayfish. So possibly we can use hu human <coughs> engineering to make it Wait, the case what? that we're intolerant to certain <gasps> kinds of meat, to certain kinds of bovine, uh, bovine proteins. And there's actually analogs of this in life. There's this oh. thing called the long star tick, where if it bites you, you will become allergic to meat. Uh, I can sort of describe the mechanism. <laughs> so that's something that we can do through human oh, engineering. Good, we can kind of uh, ad possibly address really big world problems through human engineering. Uh, 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 help! Help! <laughs> help! <laughs> help us! What? You're just saying that out loud? Like you're going to re-engineer human, human beings? Human engineering. That is something we can do. Wow. And this is a bioethicist? Is that what he is? Sure. Yeah, something. Yeah, that's Jeez, something man. along those lines. Uh, He's fun. Huh. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah it is. It, uh, okay, I, I'm not, please hear me. I'm not saying this. But wouldn't that be interesting if the vaccine made your body, you know, changed your body to the point where you didn't fill in the blank, mm -hmm. tolerate meat, mm -hmm. fill in the blank. Again, I'm not saying that at all. You're not saying that it's doing that. No, exactly. But this guy is <clears throat> suggesting that we could do that. Mm -hmm. We could human engineer. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Deep breaths. Uh, By the way. Uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, Glenn's got an interesting TV program last night, a special on all the ways they're trying to, why, why the price of beef is going up and what is behind it. So if you haven't subscribed to blazetv.com slash pat, you need to do so. But uh, that's a little bit terrifying right there. Well, it would think about the convenience of not having to worry about whether you should eat beef or not because you're allergic to it and nobody can. So then you don't have to worry about the price of it. You don't have to worry about how unhealthy it is. You don't have to worry about any of that. He is offering us a way out of meat eating. <laughs> this umbrella that started about a uh, quarter century ago uh -huh. under the guise of global warming and then climate change, it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger of all the things that we need to change in our life if mm -hmm. we love the planet and our children's future on it. Just re-engineer us. That's all you have to do. And now we're to the point where we're change talking our about DNA. changing our DNA. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. If you it? love the planet. <laughs> Jeez, I can't take it.